everybody. Hi, everybody. Welcome to EA Sports. I'm James Cebulski, and it's an electric crowd here to cheer on the team back on the ice tonight. Great energy both inside and outside the arena tonight as we are moments away now from puck drop. The Sabres have won the draw, and we are now underway. And now he moves it quickly to Ovechkin. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. The Sabres gain control of the puck against the wall. Denies him, he got on it! Oh, look at this. They are really starting to apply the pressure now. And they'll end all that pressure as they clear the zone. Quick pass to Crosby. Here they come on the attack. Moves it quickly over to Burns. With possession along the wall. Tries to feed it over to Crosby. There he is in close. And that banks off a stick. Oh, gets a piece of it with the club. Moves it to Trocek. Here we go, one man rush. Gives him nothing in front. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. We're still in the early stages of this period. We've still got zeros on the board. Detroit's got it, and they're on the attack. Stopped by the goaltender, getting a piece of that one. Detroit's got a hold of it along the wall. Up the neutral zone now. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Petrie. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Works it across to Declare. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. Denied by the goaltender. And here's the pass to Ben. Just a great defensive read there. And that's poked away by Giordano. And the puck's not loose. Picked up along the boards by Petrie. Who's the puck? Quick feed to Nyfist. Centering key. And he scores! And just like that, we've got our first of the game. Founder didn't even have a broadcast headset on. I was just putting it on, James. That was incredibly fast. The coach wouldn't have drawn it up any quicker. They say, hey, let's get off to a good start. I'd say they just did. Well, he had his eyes on the puck. He tracked it perfectly and got himself set to position. James, I thought he had it. He got a good chunk of it, but he didn't get it all. Buffalo's come to play tonight. They've been aggressive to start and as a result Cheryl they got the lead typically the home team has the advantage James so when the away team comes into the barn they want to make sure that they're not flat-footed that they're urgent they're aggressive and to start this period to start the game they've been ready right from the hop and they're rewarded with a goal moves it to stall takes the feed at center moves up ahead that's just textbook positioning to break up the play steps across the blue line Here's a shot! He scores! There it is! His first of the season! You know it's a hard shot when the goaltender gets a big piece of it, but it still trickles in. in this frame. We got a tie game. Detroit's got a hold of the puck off the draw. The Red Wings will play it from the defensive zone. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. Turn that chance aside. Here's a short pass to Costin. Takes a shot. Blocked in traffic. Buffalo's got a hold of the puck. Battle along the wall. Buffalo's got a hold of it against the wall. Passed up ahead. Gets the puck in deep. The Red Wings gain possession in their own end. Costin's picking up steam. Oh, he'll feel that one. Looks to make a play over to Tanev. Handles the pass. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Knight. I love the save, James. I mean, the goaltender is so aggressive on this play. He doesn't give the shooter any time to get rid of it.
Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Kopitar. Loses his balance on the play. Slides the puck over. Here's a chance. Shoots it on the backhand. Tremendous stop by Markstrom. And there's another stop. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. won the draw. The Sabres will play it in their own end. McDonough's got it along the wing. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Passes the puck over to Henrique. Quick shot! Gets in front of it. The Red Wings look around near the point. Denies him again! You can certainly tell that the goaltender is dialed in on that last sequence of saves, James. He's to position, so he finds a way to make multiple saves back-to-back. The Red Wings gain control of the puck. Tosses it to Paterka. We got a penalty coming up here on the play. There's the whistle, and here's the call. The Sabres have been served up with a two-minute penalty for charging. play opportunity of the game you know they've worked on this in practice to set up the look that they want let's see how they move the puck around the perimeter and look to attack takes the feed point blank stop by Markstrom Detroit's through center and now in the offensive end. Denied by the blocker. Look at this attack here in the O zone. Nice zone entry from the right side. Passes it to Sabinajad. Sends the pass over. A skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Detroit's got the puck. And he slides it quickly to Sabinajad. He's got a step. James, I have no idea how he got to that puck. It's some gymnastics at its finest. Right up the gun into the offensive end. Sends it to the middle. And he denies that great opportunity there. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Gets it out of his own end. Quick pass to Verhage. Tries to the crease. Feeds the puck across to Johansson. Markstrom's been so impressive, in particular in that last sequence, James, and he's out of gas. It didn't prevent him from making that save, but now he's going to get some much-needed rest as that puck heads out of his zone. Well, they always say to be great, you have to get uncomfortable. As we look at this last save, this looks uncomfortable. Stretching your body, finding a way to make yourself as big as possible to get to the save, that's what he did, and that's why the save was made. Kopitar is gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. And they've got the puck after that neutral zone face-off. Offside the call. We'll get a face-off coming up. Chance to reset here on the draw on this man advantage. Detroit's won the draw. Pokes it away in his own end. Skates to the crease. Denied with the leather by Markstrom. What a save from point-blank range. I mean, he's in fabulous position, square to the shooter in the slot, and he makes the glove hand save. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Here's a chance to get it out. They get it done. This power play only has time for one more rush. They'll have to play with urgency and not just skate the puck, but move it fast. Goaltenders work so much on their reaction time, and man, this is just a clinic right now as he flashes the glove and makes the save. Kopitar's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Malkin's penalty is almost expired. Tries to clear the puck. Gets it out of his own end. 
And as he jumps out of the box, he can thank his penalty killers as they bail him out to keep this one tied. Well, a really nice job by this PK unit, James, just negating scoring opportunities. Good goaltending as well. Got to be your best killer, but finding ways to get it down the ice and keeping this game tied. The Sabres have it now. Musa quickly over to Ovechkin. That's gloved by Knight. Covers it up. We'll get a stoppage in play. Centers are set. Face off ready to resume play. The Sabres win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. And he takes a shot. Oh, what a save with a ball. Well, all those tracking exercises when you're young come in handy when you're older. And this is a prime example. Look at him, Bob and Weave, trying to find that puck. He does and makes a save. Takes a shot. Oh, that save. Tremendous agility there by Knight. And he's going to cover up the puck and get a whistle. That's a great read by the goaltender to hold on, James. They were under siege in their own zone. Now they have an opportunity to reset, refocus, and get back on their horse. Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. Down the right wing and into the offensive zone. A chance to throw it! Oh, what a stop by Markstrom! The goaltenders are the last line of defense for a reason, and this time, he bails his team out. And he takes the dish. Denies him in front. That's a great save, but the goaltender had to get out to the top of his crease, take away all the ice, and make himself as big as possible. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. We are all tied up in this one. Moves it to Trocek. Grabs it and rips it! Stops him with a glove! The Sabres move the puck in the defensive zone. And loses possession after a solid hit. Oh, denies him with the paddle save! The Sabres take possession of the neutral zone. Intercepts the pass at center. The Sabres will play the puck from behind the net. And now it's over to Johansson. Detroit's got the puck along the wall. The Red Wings take possession here in the open ice. The Sabres have it from their own end. Buffalo's on the attack. Takes a shot. Oh, what a stick save. It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well, and this time he gets in front of the puck, gets right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. And that's intercepted by Harris. Puck set in, and that will allow for a fresh group of forwards to get out on the ice. Couldn't catch up to that pass. The Red Wings grab possession to the puck. Great heads up play with the stick by Harris. And he makes the save on that play. This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving. A reason why he can get square to it and make the save. Answered the call there. This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice. He's in the slot area. And he's got to get to the top of the free square to the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. Oh, what a save! He's The Red Wings take it along the wall. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. Feeds it on over to Crosby. A little dipsy doodle and he loses possession of the puck. Trying a nifty move when you have good hands. Sometimes it works, sometimes you get denied, and that's what happened there. Answered the call on that play. Quick feed to Ovechkin. Takes the feed. Oh, right off the cage. Here's a short pass to Crosby. Oh, wow, stops the game. Oh, man, he's so dialed in. Makes consecutive saves there and keeps his team in it. Can't hang on to the puck after taking it off. And they keep the pressure on. Quick stop. Quick stop by Markstrom. Man, he was right on that puck. He knew exactly where it was. It was tight to the crease. He got out and challenged right away to make the save. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. It's all tied up. Detroit's going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. 
Well, the official is right there to make the call, and no question about it, it's tripping. Anytime you take someone's feet out from under them, you're going to hit the box for two. Possession here in their own end. Trying to clear. And they get the puck out, and they needed that. Uh, they certainly did. This PK unit has been on fire. They get the clear. That's one. You kill valuable time. That's two. And now three. You can contest the entry. That's a great play all the way around. And that's a smart heads-up play by Klingberg. Feeds it over to Trocek. Here's a feed in front. And that's stopped. Shot close, but not close enough. Quick pass to Declare. Sets a power play goal and puts them in front. Well, that's perfect execution. You have that player advantage. You gotta use it. They did it. Now they're ahead. Well, your specialty team coaches are constantly telling you on a power play that you need to take advantage. And the way that you do that is to take away the eyes of the goaltender. A ton of net front presence here. And that's the reason the seeing eye shot finds its way to the back of the net. Detroit's gone in front by one here in the back half of the first. And how does this change the complexity of the game? It's a lot better being ahead than it is being behind, James. And they're ahead now. So they've got the go-ahead goal. They'll want to continue to press. You know that the coaching staff is going to be looking to manipulate the lineup to get the matchups that they want. Listen, their opponent is vulnerable these next two shifts. They need to respond accordingly. Moves it quickly over to Vulcan. And the puck dies with the trapper save. The Red Wings continue to lead midway through the first. They have really put on an offensive clinic so far. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Stopped by the goaltender. Look out! Line to the net and missed! Oh, man, that is so frustrating. He gets the look that he wants. He gets to the right spot on the ice, and then he just misses. Past the halfway mark of this period, the Red Wings have taken the lead here over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on it. Bugstads won the draw inside his own end. Tries to get it over to Costin. He got all of that hit on the play. The Sabres gain possession along the wall. And he takes the feed. And that's broken up. Into the attacking area from the left side. And he takes the pass. They've got some momentum here. Here's a chance. Denies him in close. I love that he swallowed this one up with his glove. It's a real threat coming from the slot area. No rebound to boot. Puck possession so critical in today's game. And the official ready to drop the puck right here. The Red Wings get a hold of the puck in their own end. Detroit's looking to break out. Here's an odd man rush. Oh, and he completely muffs the shot. Moves the puck up to Kopitar. From behind the net. Here's the shot. Oh, what a denial by Knight. Detroit's got him along the wall. Buffalo's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Here they come on the attack down the right side. Moves it to McDonough. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Quick feed to Atkinson. Fires the score. I think that paint of glass got busted after the shot as the whistle blows the play dead. Well, that was a blast of a shot. It just shows how strong the glass is and the technology, the new technology today, James, is it just spiders. But it has to be replaced because it's always about safety first. Henrique's won the draw here, and they'll go on the attack. Here's a short pass to Morrissey. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Markstrom. Here in the back half of this period, Detroit's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. Off the base, off, they take the puck. Sends the feed in front. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Hard hit, frees up the puck. Mulkin's got the puck in his own zone. Shot! Makes 
Makes the save. Gets a piece of it with the glove. Quick pass to Morrissey. Poked away by Tanev. Pushes it across to Harris. Now a quick pass to Crosby. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Grabbed along the board by Tanev. Takes the feed up ahead. Moves it quickly over to Harris. Refs arms in the air. We get a penalty coming up. And that camps right off the mask. Whistle blown, stopping the play. Well, everyone has a job and a role to do. And guess what? It's about PK execution right now. They have the one goal lead. Now they're protecting it. Teams dig in for the face-off here just moments away. It's our first opportunity to look at the power play unit here. Power plays are a funny thing, especially when you're down by one, James. You have to act as if you are the hunter, and you have to possess that puck and attack. Puck cleared from the defensive end. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Hannafin's got it in the defensive end. Moves it to Crosby. Nice save from point blank range. As a goaltender, you have to be able to read and anticipate the play. He does it perfectly and is able to negate the shot. Crosby's ready to take the draw here on this power play. Detroit's got it in the defensive zone. Quick pass across to Delandria. Deep inside the defensive end, still trying to clear. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. The Red Wings have possession shorthanded. The Sabres have it now. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. And that's intercepted by Delandria. And the puck clears the zone. Looking to break out here on the power play. Quick feed to Malkin. Moves it to the middle. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Still some precious time left on this power play as they get set to drop the puck. And they win the offensive zone faceoff, and here we go. Cut into the glove by Knight. Ovechkin's looking to get things going for his squad, guys. If he can use his zone ability to create some scoring opportunities, that might be the spark that they need to get back in this game. The Red Wings win the defensive zone faceoff. Good reach for the stick to knock the puck away. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Special teams so important. Can they capitalize on this power play here with a faceoff? won the face off and now let's see what they can do and he was right there to make the stop on that play Sabinajan's ready for the draws they will continue to try to kill off this penalty Detroit's won the face off deep in their own end clearing attempt and the puck is cleared well, you can see the entire PK unit. Their heads are on a swivel, straight line skating, and they're able to get that puck, and because they're looking and aware, they're able to find the white ice and get it 200 feet down. Big play inside the defensive zone. And they manage to clear it. The Sabres will have one last chance to move the puck up here on this power play. Buffalo's got him along the wall. Here's a short pass to Sabinajad. Oh, textbook quick check to turn that over. Fox standing up, ready to go. Quick pass to Stahl. Wide! You got to get a shot on that, James. You get in tight, you have an opportunity in that scoring area, and you don't even get a shot on that. Not good enough. Malkin's unstoppable force zone ability is his strength and balance when skating with the puck. He rarely gives it up when getting jostled by defenders. Yossi's known to blow past defenders with speed, which is his wheel zone ability. Let's see if one of these players can give their team the edge tonight. I know I'll be watching. Guys, back to you. Moves the puck along the half wall. Scores! Oh, Shane Kopitar! Well, there's 
not much time here before the goaltender's eyes are taken away, James, and he drops into that butterfly position. All you want to do when you can't see the puck is make yourself as big as possible, but this one has seeing eyes through traffic and finds the back of the net. Here in the late going of the frame, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Kopitar has one possession. Burns has it in the defensive end. Sends it across the ice. Moves it quickly over to Ben. Handles the puck. Buffalo's gained possession along the boards. McDonough's lugging the puck. Gets it over to Burns. Puck picked up by Kopitar. The Red Wings gain possession. Detroit's got it in their own zone. Here they come up along the wing. Dumps it in. The Sabres look to start the transition game. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Puck dumped in, allowing for the blue line to get some fresh legs out there. Slides it diagonally to Ovechkin. Break away! Stop! What a save here! Shot the puck, James, but he elects to he scores! Just a minute between those two goals. Anybody who just got up for a quick snack is probably looking at the scoreboard going, what happened? Well, don't blink. The game can change in an instant. Absolutely. Well, I really like the effort on this goal, James. He shows a knack for the net and being real hard and heavy on his stick as he's able to put that rebound in the net. Will Tenner's got to clean that up, though. That one got kicked right back out. Buffalo's taking a one-goal lead here in this opening stands, and how does this now change the complexity? Uh, I think the coach wants to manipulate their bench now that they have dictated pace, James. But if you're an elite athlete, you're always pushing for more. One certainly isn't enough. You don't have enough runway to sit back and say, hey, we're going to coast this one in. Great use of the party to knock him off the puck. Oh, look at this. Here they come. They've got numbers. An athletic save, James. I mean, that's just all about competing, finding a way to get to the puck. Such an impressive save, James. I love to look at these ones again because it's not just being in great position, it's being desperate. It's finding a way to get to the puck, keeping your eye on it at all times, tracking it, out battling and outwilling everyone around you. Buffalo's put a lot of pucks on net and they continue to lead late in the first. the draw here inside the offensive zone. And just a little too high from long range. Well, he scores! He put it in himself. He tried to make the save. I don't think he knew where it was. Well, the position is tough enough, and, and then you have these goals that wind up in the back of the net. He deposited it himself, and that's a real tough one to handle. This next shift, this next save, it's huge. Just here in the late stages of this frame, Buffalo's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Buffalo's got the puck along the wall. And puts the body into it, a little bumper car hockey. Setters glide into the dot as a face-off ready to resume play. The Sabres take possession off the face-off. What a stop right there! Let's it go from the slot! And that goes off a player. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Moves it over to Burns. Slick feed. Poked away in the neutral zone. Johansson picking up momentum inside the neutral zone. Moves it to Stahl. Oh, club saved by Knight. The Sabres wanted to put a lot of pucks on net going into this one, and they have delivered on that, leading late in the first. 
Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Gaining speed through center, and here they come on the attack. The Sabres have it against the wall. Dumps it in. Detroit's got the puck in their own end. Great stretch pass as he connects. Fires it on net. Denies him! A timely save is everything to your team, and this goaltender, he bails his team out. The Sabres win the draw. Slides it to Malkin. Knocked away with the stick by Hannafin. Jostling for the puck, and it's knocked away. Drills him! Buffalo's got a hold of the puck now. Angles it over to Petrie. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. And it bakes off a stick in traffic. Scores! He puts it in on a second effort. Well, this goal will be in the video room tomorrow, James, because it's second effort, and you know that coaches love that. Well, good things happen when you put the puck to the net, and this rebound comes right back out to him. But he's tracking, he's sniffing, he's hounding, and he finds the back of the net on the second shot. The Sabres already lead it by a significant margin here late in this first period. And they win that neutral zone draw. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Malkin. And that's off a stick. And he takes the feed. He's only one goal away, James, of his next milestone right here. And he makes the save on that play. The goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defends his crease by getting out, being aggressive, and taking away any of the net. Let's get the call. I recognize in the game that the adrenaline momentum carries you, but when you're traveling a distance, you gotta slow up before you make the hit. But James, I imagine they're coming back with that overload setup they had success on earlier. I mean, you're working off one side of the ice, you're overloading that side. You can cycle off of it, but really you want to draw the coverage outside the dot and then you got to move the puck quickly to get your lane to the net. They move the puck out of harm's way. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Quick feed to Trocek. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. First period nearly in the books here. Offside the call, we'll get a reset. Paul Mary's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Detroit's gonna start off with the puck here in the neutral zone after winning that faceoff. The serve And he denies that great opportunity there. Sends a pass over. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Johansson. Textbook poke check by Yossi. Detroit's got the puck. Buffalo's ready to go on the attack. Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. And he's able to handle that one. Here's a short pass to Merhage. Now over to Palmieri. The Red Wings gain control of the puck. With some open space at center. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Quick pass to Palmieri. Trying to clear the puck from his own end. And he gets the job done. Big thumbs up, clearing that one. Slides it across to Palmieri. The Sabres looking against the half wall. Shot! Scores! Well, I guess they weren't saved by the pal there. Uh, how's that for momentum? In the last seconds of the frame, you find a way to put it in, and that's going to create a ton of momentum. So now, heading into the next period, you want to garner that momentum and carry it forward. I love this snapshot from in tight, James, that beats the goaltender, but how about the will to get to those tough areas? I mean, that's what it's all about. You can have the skill, but you gotta have the will. Can they capitalize on this power play? Here comes the face-off. Yeah. 
Detroit's won the faceoff at center. And they'll be forced to tag up after that missed pass. That's it for period number one. Second period action coming up in moments here on EA Sports.